is Marco Zamora. We're at New Image Art for my solo show here, Odds and Ends. I grew up in Pomona, which is about 30 minutes east of here. I came to LA pretty much every weekend with my family, kind of just experience kind of both worlds of living in a city life, you know? The teachers kind of encouraged me to keep making work. And then I got into art school, just kept making things and things kept happening. It's been a long progression into this show specifically. When I graduated, I started going out and photographing people in the city and like mainly downtown, trying to capture something real in the way people are just walking around and I guess minding their own business. Slowly started uh, stepping away from photographing people and trash on the street. I got a house and that kind of changed my perception of things. Because before I was living in downtown LA, that's where I was getting all my reference from. I was there for about seven years, and I pretty much walk outside, pull out my camera, and I just start seeing things. Trash, normal people mixed in with homeless people, people carrying what they have and all they got on their back. And that was like my main reference. I had a little girl, and that kind of flipped everything for me. I ended up moving to Pasadena. I mean, obviously my environment changed, so my work started changing. I started going to these swap meets, looking at all the compositions that people were putting out of all their drunk and trash. And I was looking at them and I was like, God, man, this is so, this is so rad. Why, why am I not photographing this and these people here? So I was already photographing trash on the street and trying to rearrange the compositions of, of what was there and trying to make it interesting. Questioning where it comes from and what's it doing there. Being there, I mean, I got excited myself. So these paintings, were the beginning of like this uh, gesture and feeling the work, you know? These panels are broken because I was trying to reference these like broken things at swap meets and how they still have value, um, even though they're broken or trash. Like I have a lamp in one of my paintings, but it's a broken painting, it's a broken lamp. All of these images and these shapes are taken from somewhere. So if you see some of these broken panels, they're taken from photos I took of broken pieces of wood on the street and just, remade them and put it into one painting or show or installation. When I found a composition that I liked of how they laid it out, I started talking to the vendors and telling them what I was doing. I wanted to and I explained to them, I'm not gonna resell anything. I just enjoy seeing how you put out the stuff and I like how you laid it out. I bought like this whole lot of stuff off of this guy right here, his name was Dave. <laughs> so I photographed this piece here. I wanted to recreate it, so I purchased like all the stuff, replaced it in front of this image, and I set it up as close as I could to how he had it all laid out. I didn't want to take it from another place and put it in. I wanted it to have exactly what he had. I'm putting this bright colors also because these aren't the prettiest pictures. I'm painting trash and I'm painting people like that are not necessarily a sad environment, but it's not the greatest, like happiest place. I'm not painting pretty people. And so I'm also distracting you with this stuff. You know, I want you to look past that and see what's there. And that's what the, all the blocking of these images are. You know, it's a question, what is it? What do we do with our shit? You know, what do we do with our things? You know, where does it go? And this flower pattern that I, I keep using in this palette is all from a thrown away couch on the side of the street. I just remade it into this work and it's used as a backdrop to these other objects which are found on the street or found at these swap meets, you know? I'm trying to make it aesthetically pleasing and to make it pretty, you know? Because I see it as, as that, you know? And I know a lot of people don't.